This is Put It Into Practice, Truth from the Word of God for Living Life. Today on Put It Into Practice, we are considering truth from 2 Corinthians 12, verses 1 through 10. In this passage, Paul talks about his experience in going to heaven. When Paul shared about his heavenly experience, he made it very clear that he was not boasting as though he was someone great. Instead, he was placing the focus on his weakness. Why would he do this? Because he eventually learned that when he was weak, then Christ's power made him strong. Notice I said, Paul eventually learned this. See, here's how the order of events took place. One, God allowed Paul to experience heaven. Two, God did not want Paul to become conceited because of his experience. So three, God gave Paul a thorn in the flesh to buffet him. So, Paul prayed the Lord would remove it, but he said no. So instead of removing the thorn, Paul was given a promise. Listen to this powerful promise. Verse 9, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Paul said, Okay, I accept that which enabled Paul to boast all the more gladly about his weaknesses so that Christ's power would rest on him. So for us, whatever discomfort God allows in our life, we must accept that God knows best. Therefore, we should, like Paul, practice accepting God's sufficient grace. So his power is made perfect in our weakness. Then we will delight in whatever God allows in our lives. Now that is a truth worth practicing.